For the work we need, the perimeter first, standard printed forms of the fields of vision, the mark with the different colors. Put the person under the test back to the light and ask her to put her chin into the horizontal support of the perimeter. Its height is regulated so that the upper body of the vertical part of the support is near the lower edge of the eye socket. Put the arc of the perimeter into the horizontal zero position and start the measurement. Put the device with zero in the upper position. If you define the field of vision for the left eye, the person under the test put the chin into the right part of the support and vice versa. The person under the test should close another eye with her hand. After this, she should fix her look on the center of the perimeter. The experimenter slowly moves the pointer with a white circle along the internal surface of the arc of the perimeter from 90 to 0 degrees. Ask the person under the test when she can see this circle with a fixed eye Vision. on the center of the perimeter. After this, repeat the measurement. Point the obtained results in the special blank. The same way, make the measuring from the opposite end of the arc. Repeat the measurement. Vision. Vision. Point the obtained results into the special blank. After determination of the side borders of the field of vision horizontally, turn the arc vertically and measure the highest and the lowest borders of the fields of vision. Repeat each measurement two times. Put the obtained data into the standard forms of the fields of vision. For more exact measurement of the field of vision, they recommend to make the investigation in 24 meridians with the 15 degrees interval. The measurement is made analogically. Connect the obtained points with the continuous line. This is the border of the achromatic field of vision.